Hello everyone. My name is Makeda Valletta, also known as the Body Scientist. And in case you don't know me, I am a personal trainer, a certified strength and conditioning specialist, certified by the NSCA, and I'm also a sports nutritionist and pole instructor. Um, I've been working in the fitness industry for 15 plus years now. And I started off in group fitness and then what is that stuff on the floor? Darn it. Okay. Hello everyone. My name is Makeda Valletta also known as the body scientist. And in case you don't know me, I am a personal trainer, a NSCA certified strength and conditioning specialist, a USA Olympic weightlifting coach, and a sports nutritionist. I've been working in the fitness industry for 15 plus years. Um, I graduated with a degree in exercise and sports science and nutrition in 2003 from the University of Delaware. So I have been in this field for a very long time and I'm very well researched. Um, I've been working with clients, like I said, for at least 15 years. And so I started off in group fitness. And I was kind of frustrated with group fitness because I felt like there was a room full of people just doing stuff incorrectly. And they needed personal attention to be corrected. Because if you're doing things wrong, you're either going to hurt yourself or you're not going to reach your goals. Okay? So I was stick with for technique, being a dancer, being a strength and conditioning specialist. And in group fitness, you really can't stop and help people the way they need to be helped. So that made me move into personal training. And when it comes to, like I said, like most personal trainers don't study nutrition and actually do not have the qualifications to give nutrition advice, but yet people still ask us all the time for nutrition advice. And most trainers do give nutrition advice, even though um, it's not always the best advice. Most of the time, the nutrition advice that trainers give comes from the bodybuilding world. And the bodybuilding world uses food to manipulate their look during certain times. People who bodybuild and compete in those competitions do not look like that year-round. If you see them on the off-season, a lot of times you can't recognize them because they may be a little chubby. They're not as cut up as you see them on their competition time. Competition time, they go on a really low-carbohydrate diet. They dehydrate themselves. And I suggest you look at, your, at my video on hydration. But they dehydrate themselves, which is not healthy to achieve a look for a day, okay? And when they do that, it takes away a lot of their strength and their stamina and their ability, their, their ability to actually physically perform. So me, my approach to nutrition and fitness has nothing to do with bodybuilding. It has more to do with athletes, building a strong body, a functional body that's able to do something, okay? It's not just about looks for me. Now, if you build a strong brick house body, a strong foundation that can do stuff, then the look comes from that. But I'm not the kind of person to um, prescribe things that make you look good that's unhealthy. So with that being said, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what to expect when working with me. For those of you who are interested in working, possibly working with me. Before I work with any clients, um, I work with clients on fitness and fitness and nutrition. Um, I prefer to, to do them together because they, no matter what your goals are, they work together. But I do nutrition stuff. Um, I am available for nutrition evaluations, and I do work on nutrition with people separate from fitness, because some people may already be training for something, or they don't want my fitness advice. Okay, fine. Then I will just do nutrition. Um, but when people want the training without the nutrition, I also don't recommend that, because some people think that they know how to eat properly, and it's, it's really not the best. But if someone comes to me and says they know what they're doing, or they're working with some other nutritionist, and they feel like they know what they're doing, then, okay, fine. Even if I don't think that it's the best, okay, fine. I would just do fitness stuff with you. But really, I prefer to do them together. And the way that I work with clients, they are together. So, um, now lately, I've had some people ask me about doing meal plans. So, meal plans are really more come from the bodybuilding world. Um, instead of doing meal plans, I like to educate people all around so that they know how to make good decisions on their own, 
that they know how to evaluate foods and things on their own because that's a skill that's very important and seriously lacking. And um, so that you know how to kind of move on your own. So I will give suggestions about, you know, what you can eat from breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you know. But I really want to educate you all, all the way around so you understand why I'm telling you that this is what you should eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You don't have to stick exactly to what I'm saying now um, because you will learn things so that you know how to fit it into the whole context. So I'm not really the kind of person that will say, okay, eat four ounces of chicken and one cup of rice and three peanuts like the bodybuilding world does. That's not what I do, okay? Because it's not an exact science. How much of certain things you need depends on your body. Depends on what you've done that day. Depends on how much muscle you have, how much fat you have. And it's not just about calories. Calorie counting is an inexact science, and it's a lot of it is myths. The calorie counting, no. I look at a person's overall diet. So when I evaluate someone, whether it be for fitness or for nutrition, I give them a questionnaire that has like 60 questions on it. I ask a bunch of questions about injuries, surgeries, current eating habits, previous eating habits, allergies, um, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. And we go through on the phone so I can ask more questions in depth and take more notes based on what you're telling me. Then once I get all that from you and you tell me your goals, I will give you a write-up or, pres uh, write or prescription giving you recommendations, both fitness and nutrition, unless you um, just ask me for one, both fitness and nutrition recommendations to help you reach your goals. You know, I'm fine-tuning. So I'm looking at what's missing, what's lacking, okay? I'm looking at what's going on with your body, what your goals are, what could be the causes of certain issues that you're having with your body. Some people don't have any issues, okay, that's great. So I'm looking at, you know, what could be the cause of those things, how to strengthen your weaknesses, because we all have weaknesses. So how to strengthen those weaknesses and how to keep you on the right track. And then I give you specific recommendations and lots of um, things to read and other videos to look at so that you can understand why I'm telling you these things and that so you can be educated so that you understand moving forward in your life how to make the correct decisions for you and people that you love. So that's my approach to um, working with people with nutrition stuff. Um, I'm not going to tell you to count calories and if you follow the rest of my work you know that I my nutrition advice is rooted in traditional foods. It's rooted in nutrition science but it's rooted in traditional foods. So I am never going to recommend that somebody become a vegan um, I've had vegan clients that have had to revive from veganism who seriously mess up their hormones and other things with their body, but I'm not, um, I don't recommend those things. I stick with traditional foods, the foods that our grandparents and our great-grandparents and our great-great-grandparents ate that made them healthy and strong and helped them live really long and old and functional. And I always suggest to look at those people in your family. Anybody in your family who lived to be 90 or more, 90 or over, um, that was healthy and strong and functional, you know, look and see what they ate because that's really important. And I bet you whether you're from Asia, Africa, the Americas, when we start Europe, you start doing that, you start to find that there, we have more in common, all of these different cultures between our traditional foods than we do differences, okay? Um, but I won't get too much into that here because I have other videos where I talk about that and I highly suggest that you take a look at them. But I just wanted to do a brief video for those of you who are interested in working with me and you wanted to know what my process is and where my, what my philosophy is and where I'm coming from. Um, I do suggest looking at my other videos on uh, the Body Scientist 81 YouTube page and you'll have, also have a better idea. Um, and then when it comes to the fitness training, just like in the, in the gyms, I sell packages, um, session packages. So the more sessions that somebody buys, the cheaper the per session rate is. Um, and if you email me, you can get that information, but the evaluation has to happen first. Um, I'm from New York City, but I'm living in Chicago now, so I'm mostly taking clients in Chicago. But I'm open to taking people in New York, because I go back to New York at least once a month. <clears throat> and then any other place that I travel. I'm, sometimes I'm in Southern California, sometimes I'm in a D.C. area, um, I'll be in Atlanta in June. So like any other cities that I'm uh, moving around to. I'm always open to evaluate someone or help get them on the right track if you're interested in serious. Um, we have to put in the work to make our bodies to make our bodies age gracefully and be healthy and strong. It's very, very important. Um, and so that's my philosophy, to train like an athlete. And um, I hope this makes sense to you. And if you have any questions about working with me, then please feel free to email me directly. 
at thebodyscientist81 at gmail.com. Okay, people, I hope this video was helpful and you have a great day. Thanks. Keep moving. Bye.